Hey there, Julian here and welcome to MemberScript 25. And this one is about conditional visibility. So what we want to do here, it's, I guess, a little bit hard to explain. So let me just go ahead and show you. So we have our list. Let's go ahead and favorite some things. And then let's refresh. And what is going to happen is the following. As you can see, this favorites list just shows up. It wasn't there. Now it's there. How do we do that? And this could be used for a whole bunch of different use cases. But anyways. Basically, all we have, first of all, you're going to need your member script 25, which is in the demo project in the body right here, or just copy it from the site as usual. And two attributes are needed here. First, what we have is on this list, this ms-code-visibility-subject equals x. x is just our variable. We're matching it up with something else. Yours could be whatever you want. You can have multiple of these going on the same page. All is good. And then what we have around the total container with everything in it is ms-code-visibility-target equals x. So that's it. Basically, we're saying if the subject here, either one, has no children elements, or two, the children elements are set to display none, then we just want to hide this entire target right here. So this is good because if we did not have this applied, then what would happen is if there were no favorites in this case, then it would just say favorites and it would be blank. So instead, what we want to do is show absolutely nothing. So if I, let's say, go ahead and unfavorite these items here, then what we're going to see when we refresh is that the favorites are just gone. There's nothing there at all. And yeah, that's exactly what we want. So anyways, if you have any issues or questions, let me know, julian at memberstack.com or in the 2.0 Slack, and I will talk to you soon. Have a good day.